Hey everyone, it's G's Garage. And today I'm going to show you kind of a basic overview of how to change the evaporator unit in your Mini Cooper. This is a 2008 R56 chassis. And this, this evaporator here is pretty much uh, Swiss cheese. I mean, you can see you can see the the you know dark spots up in here and there's actually some detection dye I think that's kind of what that is or stop leak material um, but this thing was <clears throat> was pretty much finished and I think it would only hold gas for maybe about three hours tops so I mean it was a pretty pretty significant leak um, but yeah, so this is so this is the old one, and then of course, here's the here's the air box that it comes in, and of course right down there, that's where your your heater core goes, and there's just one little let's see, one little screw right there that um, gets your heater core out. But so that'll sit in there, and then you're gonna have the heater core hoses come around here up through this plastic piece right here and then there's actually like kind of a, a rubber gasket that goes up against the firewall um, and I think I think there's just three three screws one there one there and one there these are t20 torques so this will it won't come off just easily like this but um, I'm gonna have to slide the rubber gasket back and then these little things here uh, what you do on those is just take a screwdriver and kind of get those, get one over the lip and then hold it and then get the next one over the lip and kind of just kind of work it, work your way around so this thing will come off. But um, so it just comes, kind of comes off like that. <clears throat> and then from here, I believe there's only just four, four screws. You got one, one there, one there. And let's see one there and one there and uh like i said so so you take this off of here you're going to have you know your heater core uh tubes are still going to be in your way so at that point you just take this off and then your evaporator is just going to it's just going to fit in there like so so then obviously you just take take the old one out, put a new one in. Once you get it satisfied with the settings, just put your put your bottom cover back on and then put your heater core back on. And then you're gonna have to um, fish this around your uh, Get your your heater core lines through there and here's the here's the rubber gasket uh, that goes on after that so uh, that one probably actually should go on first uh, then the cover and then the cover will go down and then this will go down tighten up all your screws and then at that point um, if you want to you can you can install your expansion valve um, that's going to sit going to sit about right here roughly and it, it's got a uh, clamp on the back that goes into those two holes right there and then what that will do is that that will actually clamp these these back lines it will force these back lines into the valve and then of course on the, the block here in the front you're going to have uh, once you get that in the car um, then you'll go ahead and put the uh, the connection on, and then that little stud there, uh, tighten that up. It's just a little bolt. It takes a 10 millimeter socket to get that on there. So uh, this is, like I said, this is just a basic overview of how to change it. Obviously, to get this piece here, this whole uh, air conditioning heater box out of the car, is uh, let's just say it's a job in itself. And like I said, I'll give you. Uh, a basic overview of how to how to get this this thing out of here as well so <clears throat> inside the car here and as you can see 
if if this is a job that you're you're willing to take on, this is what you're going to end up with. I mean, it's going to look like it's going to look like you're parting out your car uh, because all this stuff has to come has to come out of here. And uh, so right there, I mean, you can see the line. That's your air conditioning line. And then I've got the heater hoses uh, pushed up inside of there. And then right there, that's the drain for the evaporator, for the condensation that comes out of it. And then that's the air box. You can see there's a negative battery cable. That's uh, where obviously your air comes in, fresh air comes in. Um, so really, um, oh, and then one other thing. This little harness right here, this goes on the back of the uh, air box itself, and that's that's for uh, the the uh, the I guess the electronics for the uh, like the blend actuators, those little servos on there that um, open different vents up. Uh, but essentially, once this once this is put back on the uh, the box, it's just essentially just going to sit in here. There's really there's really nothing that holds it in here. Um, I mean, it's going to get pushed up against, it's going to get pushed up against this opening, but essentially it just needs to be centered over that drain. And I'll show you a little bit later. Um, there's kind of like a craft structure, kind of a support that goes up on this pin. And then there's two bolts right there. And then of course on the other side, the same thing. Um, on that, there's actually, some little uh some holes where there's there's plastic pins on the air box that uh goes into so that's actually really what what holds this in here and then of course um there's another plastic structure which i'll show you which which goes over that's where pretty much all your uh you know your gauge cluster and those things kind of screw into and then of course you have you have the the dash pad so let me go ahead and show you the uh the crash structure so here's the here's the crash structure, and of course it's backwards, but um, that's where your bolts go in. There's the there's the locating pin. Same thing on that side, and then right here, these are your air conditioning vents. So this is where the the box comes out of, and basically feeds all these four vents. Um, right down there, there's some mounting points right there, and kind of in front of your uh, your center console. And I want to say it's either these holes here are actually the 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 guiding pins that hold the um, the air box in place. Uh, so this would be the second step when you when you put it back in. So right here, this is the obviously the, that's the uh, you know glove compartment. The four vents on here. Uh, this is the piece that goes on after the uh, crash structure, and as you can see right here, this is your steering wheel, and your your steering you know the airbag and the steering wheel and the steering column is going to have to be uh, removed, and uh, steering column will have to be dropped because that attaches to the the uh, crash structure uh, support structure, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is what goes on second. And as you can see, you can see all the different places where there's there's fasteners and you know those are for the kind of the the snap clips um, that goes on here. And I don't really think there's there's much electrical on here uh, except for there's two right in there and one there, uh, kind of like uh, courtesy lights uh, that come on when you open the door. And then, of course, right here, this is the obviously the dash, and there's one connection. I, I think that's um, I want to say that's for the the light sensor. Um, if if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, and then, of course, under here, you've got your airbag. So there's some connections for that. Uh, but this just mounts on. It's got a couple screws right there. One there and there, there, and then the same on the other side. Um, and then of course it's got these hidden screws uh, that are inside of there. 
two on either side there's little covers for those so yeah so this so this is your dash pad this is this is basically what's going to go on um towards the end and uh, like i said there's some other videos out there that will essentially get you to this place where you can uh where you can start you know taking that that piece off right there um and then the dash because uh right now uh so you're gonna have to remove all your gauges and um things of that nature uh so yeah so there's some videos out there that show you how to do that the gauge gauge removal and the um I believe the steering wheel removal it's pretty pretty simple uh but then then you're going to take this off the dash pad and then you're going to take uh this piece off and then you get to the crash structure and once the crash structure is out then you're going to be uh to your airbox and then at that point you can you can change your evaporator and uh, get your air working again so um so sorry for the the lack of detail this is just kind of an overview video uh like i said this is this is a huge job and uh if you don't want to take it on i don't blame you because it's uh like i said it's it, it is a huge job and and uh but unfortunately if your air is not working and that's where your leak is you're just not going to um <clears throat> There's just, there's no way around it, unfortunately. It's just the way this thing is designed. So, uh, anyway, this is G's Garage. And leave your comments, questions. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time.